Honor Buckle Gift of Honor A special gift for a true hero Custom handmade in the USA Proceeds benefit disabled veterans you Insert the dog tag into the honor buckle and then others uh, we've had some emails on what about my social security number I don't want people to see it so we'll cover that one also let me set these aside a lot of you said well, how do I uh, how do I insert my dog tag into uh, my honor buckle and the first thing you do when you receive your honor buckle you're going to find that there's this little round clip in the back it'll already be in there for you and you can squeeze these apart or together I should say and lift up and slide it towards the uh, buckle end or the, excuse me the belt loop end and then pull this on out of here and set it down now we find as you start looking at dog tags um, this one here is what's called debossed or punched lettering on that and the seam is on the back of it and these blanks are of course made by companies in the United States uh, and then shipped to the different uh, military establishments for the making of them uh, where they need to be done uh, in the olden days World War II, early Vietnam, Korea uh, the dog tag had a notch in it much like this that notch uh, was really to hold it into the machine uh, as the lettering and numbers was stamped into it. I know there's lots of uh, stories about what that notch was for but that's uh, really what it was for to hold it in place. And today a lot of dog tags come what is called embossed whereby the letters are punched in from the back and they can come either way today I understand. Today we're going to look at a debossed one and you can see that the dog tag is uh, very straight when you have it as opposed to having a curve in your honor buckle so the first thing we need to do is to form the dog tag so that it will slide into the honor buckle in a fashion that isn't binding or uh, intrusive to what you're trying to do so these are very pliable one way to do it of course is to just bend it another way if you're not strong enough to bend it with your thumbs and your fingers is to take a pencil lay it down on something soft like this and then simply put the dog tag down and push on both sides until it gets to a point where it is shaped enough to want to fit into the honor buckle and you start to get some curve to it there alright the next thing you want to do is look at the name on the top you want that to be like so. So this thicker side of the honor buckle when it's upside down will be the same side as your name would go up at the top. You then lift up the belt loop catch, slide this underneath, and what I do is on this, I grab on this finger and this finger like this and start to push and at the same time I'm pushing up on this portion with my other hand to kind of give it some smoothness to snap in. It snaps in but as you can hear it's kind of loose in there. So that's what this keeper ring is for. That's a, of course you're not going to go down and buy these at your hardware store. These are specially made for honor buckle. And these are very thin, quite nice and they have a little spring to them. So this just slides in right on top of your dog tag and snaps in place and that keeps your dog tag nice and firm and towards the front. Now it's in there stationary, never come out unless you take it out. All right, That's how that's put in. If there's some resistance as you're putting this in, what some folks have done is say, hey, I'll put a little dishwashing soap, liquid soap on the edge here as I push it in. It'll just slide right in. Then you can wash it off and dry it. It's good as new. Now some people, have, uh, like I mentioned, uh, have been concerned about the social security number. So I'm going to come back to this one right here that we just put in. And as you can see there's a example social security number on there. While your dog tag is out and before you put it in, the best thing to do, and I'll use this one as an example here, 
is place this onto a piece of concrete or steel or some hard surface uh, that you don't mind damaging if you miss hit it. Uh, get a carpenter's punch, I think this is a number two, and place that over the face of the last four numbers, here, 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 and here, and simply take a hammer and smack down on it and do that for each one of the numbers. If they haven't been completely um, obscured, you can then turn it over and do the same thing from the back side in order to obscure those last four numbers. Now if your dog tag of course has been lost and you don't or you can't find your old dog tag, if you order new dog tags with all your information on it, then of course what you would do is just order one without your social security number on it. So I hope that helps and uh, if you have any questions uh, be sure to email us at uh, information at honorbuckle.com and we'll be more than happy to get back to you. Thank you.